Last updated 8.51 the 23rd of September 2018 Sky Sports Storm fullback Billy Slater bundles Sharks winger Sose Afeki into touch at AAMI Park on Friday night. Getty Images Billy Slater should not be banned from the NRL Grand Final, says Kiwis and Warriors hooker Sikluk. Andrew Cornaga, Photosport Warriors hooker Sikluk missed the 2014 NRL Grand Final for South Sydney after a ban. Rugby League The last man to miss a Grand Final through suspension has thrown his support behind retiring Melbourne star Billy Slater to beat a shoulder charge ban and play in the NRL Decider. Former hooker Isaac Luke is the most recent member of an enviable list of players to have been rubbed out of a grand final through suspension after missing the 2014 finale for South Sydney. Slater's grade 1 charge on Saturday means he will miss the decider for his try-saving bump on Pronal as Sose Afeki unless he's found not guilty at the NRL judiciary next week. The Storm are pushing to have the case earlier than usual on Monday. Read more, asterisk Slater faces NRL ban asterisk Bellamy helps inspire pies asterisk Smith could consider retiring Luke, who felt the pain of watching from the sideline four years ago at the Rabbitohs, took to social media to voice his support for Slater. I reckon he should play, Luke said on Twitter. No matter what the crime is. Because that last week sucks not being a part, sick of it even though the club done everything for me to be part of it, Luke is one of several big names on a list of players to have missed grand finals through suspension, alongside the likes of Melbourne skipper Cameron Smith, rugby league immortal Arthur Beetson and legendary Balmain prop Steve Roach. Smith has since said missing the 2008 decider against Manly still haunts him, while Roach admitted 20 years after the 1988 grand final that his absence still caused him pain. Slater won the support of several former players on Saturday after stand-in Sharks captain Luke Lewis also questioned how he could be charged following Friday night's match. He also received backing from an unexpected source, with Penrith boss and Nine Network commentator Phil Gould tweeting a message of support from former Judiciary Chairman Paul Conlon. He braced for inevitable contact a meter from the corner post, the message from Conlon said, What he actually did could not be actually said to involve an acceptable risk of injury. There was no contact with the head of Becky, therefore no danger. For the sake of the game of RL, I hope an experienced and sensible judiciary panel will see it that way. Add feedback, AAP.